Oh my god, hi. Absolute game changer. Oh my gosh. Greek yogurt. Is this a weird combo? I don't know. People eat weird combinations. <laughs> Lolly. Oh. It's taste test time. <laughs> oh my god, this is so nice. Mm. I've never had this before. No, I've never had a meringue. I know you normally say that, but I literally <laughs> have never had this before. No. <laughs> Beautiful. It's just incredible how much the seeds make it. It's going to be an amazing day. Mum has invented an incredible <laughs> combination. Because we love the special K nuts and seeds cereal, but it's super expensive. So yesterday, Mum had normal special K with four seed mix. And it's really good. Tastes the same, except it hasn't got any nuts in it, but hey, the yeah. seeds are really good. So I'm gonna have some of that for breakfast, and of course, Greek yogurt and apricot. Yum, I love that. <laughs> I love it so much. Breakfast is the best, and seeds are the best. Well, Satara's been choosing pictures for ages and she really needed my help choosing. Lucky I helped her because she picked every single one I chose. So. I picked every one you didn't choose. <laughs> Cutting One Direction photos out for Satara. Haven't cut out anything since school. So fun. Breakfast time. Look at that. Lots of seeds and lots of full fat Greek yogurt with apricot. Absolutely beautiful. It looks absolutely delicious. Deliciose. Breakfast time! We love breakfast. And we love food. We love breakfast. Yes, we do. We love breakfast. And we love food. We're gonna eat this now, yum. Is that a good angle? Is that a good angle? That is a good angle, isn't it? <gasps> My camera just fell. My big one. OMG. Oopsie. Can you zoom in a bit? There we go. Oh my god, hi. Maybe that's better. That is a good angle. D. Mm. Wow, those seeds are an absolute game changer. Oh my gosh. How can they make it taste so good? Oh my gosh, these seeds are like little. They're so small, but they're so delicious. Follow me on Instagram, Elzani underscore underscore, for some top quality content. Nearly finished it, but look how good. Oh my gosh, they're amazing. I'm so putting seeds on literally everything now. That added crunch as well. That was such a good combination. Such a good invention, mum. Oh my gosh. I'm so having seeds all the time. Seeds are so good. Seeds are amazing. Why have they been a fear for so long? I don't know. Amazing. And now it's Greek yogurt time with apricot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This combo is amazing as well. Literally, this is life. I'm not even joking. How can something be so creamy and delicious? Greek yogurt. Not even joking. Greek yogurt is the best thing ever. Oh my gosh. It's so good. Mm. Put it in the sun because it's heavenly. Ah. Yogurt is life. Look at that. Look how beautiful. Oh, it just looks amazing. Mmm, 
delicious. Mm. Baby Blaze, are you sunbathing? Oh, gorgeous girl. Nice and warm. I love you. Yeah, and you know it, don't you? Good girl. A hard life being a dog. Scrambled egg on seedy bread. And an apple for a snack. Oh, presentation skills on point. Scrambled egg on seedy bread is literally absolutely incredible. Extra apple on the side. Obviously Clarence Cortex and obviously Pink Lady apples. I've never tried an apple with egg. Shall I do it? Is this a weird combo? I don't know. People eat weird combinations. That actually tastes quite nice. Tastes like a sweet scrambled egg. A nice snack. Got to eat the snacks to look like a snack. Mmm. Yum. Ooh, lunchtime. I'm making a fish finger sandwich. Woo woo. Haven't had one of these for so long. Perfectly poppable crispy potato bites. Oh, barbecue rib plate. Yum. Ooh, look at that. Lunch, oh my gosh. Oh. No one answers the house phone. Look at that beauty. Oh my goodness. Fish finger sandwichino. Sandwage. Let's put the top slice on, baby. Dum 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 dum. That sandwich stack though. Yeah, baby. Rate my sandwich stack. That stack though. I'm gonna make the sandwich stack a thing, I think. Yeah. Sandwich stack. Sandwage. Woo hoo! Whoop whoop! I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Looks so good. Sandwiches. Do the sandwich stack. Sandwiches. Do the sandwich stack. Oh my gosh, that is absolutely incredible. It really tastes as good as it looks. Oh my gosh. Yum. Oh, I'll try a popable. Oh. It's awesome. Mmm. They are good. Mmm. Oh, I put one in my sandwich. Crisp in sandwiches. That's good. Gives it a bit of crunch. Fish fingers are amazing. And these crisps are so good. editing my video and then I thought this position is really comfy leg up for extra comfort and you just chill you just chill it's such a beautiful day I literally <laughs> I love the summer I love the winter as well though Christmas is the best but summer it's just amazing. It doesn't get dark until really late and barbecues and you can just go to the beach and you can go in the sea and it's still cold but it's not literally freezing cold like on the Christmas swim when you nearly die of hypothermia. <laughs> and everyone's just together and you can chill as a family and you can go to different places and different towns and 
go camping. Oh my gosh, I love it. And on holiday, we usually go on holiday. I'm not sure if we're going this year though because mum isn't well. Like I don't know what's going on with her radiation. But that's, even if we don't go away, it will still be awesome. I just love it. And we're so lucky to live near the sea. Oh, life is good. It's just beautiful. And it's warm. You don't have to wear loads of layers. Although wearing layers is so fun and cosy. And winter nights, where it gets dark early, that's really cosy and you can have movie nights. But it's so nice to go outside and not literally feel freezing. Although we do live in England, so it's boiling hot and then you go out and you think, oh, no, I don't need a jumper. I don't need any extra layers and then you go out and literally it starts raining or it's a freezing cold wind the phone always interrupts me oh I swear I I've already, I've already ignored the house phone once today in this video. <laughs> we just don't really answer it unless we need a number. Because a mum accidentally answered one time and felt really bad. So she did a survey about like washing machines or something. Because she thought it would make the lady happy if someone did her survey. And now they phone all the time. <laughs> But I hope the lady's happy that mom did her survey. Anyway, I just love summer. Yeah, thanks for that. That was a good talk. <laughs> oh, also what I was saying is this is my new favourite comfy position. Put your leg up and then you rest your arm on your leg. Or you just lean over. Oh my god, it's so comfy. And Satara and Alicia actually eat with their leg up like this. Which is weird. But I don't know, I might try it. Because I just realised I was editing like this and it's super comfy. Anyway, there we go. <laughs> That's your update. Oh my god, it's baby! I wonder why she doesn't want to sleep with the Walkies Blaze, you excited? We're going for walkies. Dog walk time. <laughs> Blaze, this way. <laughs> yeah, so nice here. It's amazing. Oh. Yes. In the summertime. Found the slope. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's like, I can't do it. <laughs> Blaze, come on. Blaze, Blaze. Blaze, she thinks it's a ball. <laughs> come. It's so nice coming for a walk. So good. Beautiful. And the view as well. <laughs> Please! She's so happy! <laughs> Have we got enough Greek yogurt? <laughs> They're on special and we've got three kilos! <laughs> Go through the Amazing, we, go, we, we go love Greek, Greek yogurt. yogurt space, aren't we? Three kilos! Do you think we've got enough, Mum? Yeah. <laughs> and minty tzatziki. Wait, I don't know how you actually say it, but I'm just going to just say it like tzatziki. Satsiki. And some of the best. It's not focusing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yay, with a pita bread. Even though everyone calls it pita, but I say pita. <laughs> snack time. Tzatziki pita bread and beans for a snack in the sun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, baby. Yummo. That was so nice. Literally everything is nice though. Yeah. Um. <laughs> A very chilled out day. Jeez, I feel like I've got implants. And my boobs gone down low. It's, it's normal now, kind of normal. But... 
Go on, Blaze. I think she's getting tired. Yeah. Lolly. She's gonna fool that side. She needs to bite this side. It's taste test time. <laughs> I've been saying how nice muller rice is off so long. I've never tried these. And mum's never tried a muller rice. Exactly, no, so <gasps> I've never had one Never of had those. one of these before. <laughs> so, <clears throat> and mum said which one's nicer, which flavour, and I don't actually know. So we thought we would just open both and have half each. Yep, go for it. So you've got all the bars, we go. over here. Which one do you think you're going to like best, mum? Uh, um, salted caramel. Really? Yeah. Mum got changed because she was too hot. Yeah, boiling. It's so hot actually at the moment here. It actually it's is. So nice. What a anyway. long spoon. I like the long spoons. Like Sunday spoon. But these are my yeah. new favourite spoons actually. Yeah, they're quite nice, aren't they? Ready. Try it. Oh, instant taste of something like I had before. Instantly, mm. it tasted like the middle, middle of um, one of those feast ice lollies. Really? But don't you get caramel mm -hmm. in the middle? I don't I remember. I I've sure only had a feast do. like once or twice when I was really quite young. Yeah. So I'm sure you used to love feasts, yeah. didn't I, you? Yeah, I haven't had one for years. Look how tanned I am compared to mum. <sighs> They're so good. I love muller rices. Ready? Different. This is a custard sauce. So it's like... I have to have coffee in a minute. It's yellow. Hello, yellow, farm is pale. I like it. It's quite nice. You try the sauce These are on its different, own, aren't they? If you try the sauce on its own, it literally tastes like custard. And I love custard and I love rice pudding. <laughs> rice pudding and custard. I don't know if I like the caramel or the custard. That's what I thought. If you take something like this to work, if you go out to work, you feel more Dad filled up. Some. Yeah, than having a, a small yogurt. I'm going from one to the other. <laughs> I don't know which one I prefer. The no, custard one's know. sweeter. Yeah. And this is sweet as well, but in a different way. Mm. When you put it around your mouth, you can taste the saltiness. Custard one literally tastes so custardy, doesn't it? Yeah. It's amazing, so doesn't it? Mm -hmm. it? Tastes like custardy rice pudding. That's what it is. <laughs> yeah, it does. Yeah. So if you like custard and rice pudding, mm. have this. <sighs> I wouldn't fancy an apple one or a raspberry. I'd have to have one of these. If they're in the fridge or on the shelf, these two. I don't know which one I'd pick. Mum said to me the other day that she wouldn't choose custard. I said, no, I definitely wouldn't like custard with rice pudding. I actually quite like it. I think it's really nice. Mm. I think I might actually prefer the custard one. Mm. Mm. The winner is, I think the custard one. Really? Yeah. Haha, <laughs> Brady yeah. just even like, I would only fancy the salted caramel. Yeah, I think I prefer the custard one. Just goes well with the rice pudding. Mm. This one's like a dessert, isn't it? The custard one. I know, yeah. it's just so good because it's custard and rice pudding together. But then the salted caramel one's nice as well. I'd eat both of them again. Yeah. And the winner is... I like them both. Yeah, I do I as actually well. do. Yeah. With your winner custard. I don't know. I like them both. I think I prefer the custard. Mm. I think you probably wouldn't get so fed up with the custard, maybe. No, you wouldn't. Yeah. Salted caramel leaves um, that kind of salty taste on your tongue after. I actually think they're really, really both good. Custard. But I think you'd probably get less fed up with the custard. Mm. They're both so good. I'm going to have to eat we them We just like them both. Yeah. And that mm. is... Just buy a tin of plain rice pudding yeah, and you can cheaper. put whatever you want in it. Yeah. <laughs> rice pudding is amazing though. Yeah. Mm. So Tara changed my background to Harry Styles. <laughs> oh. She did it. She did. Oh, oh nice one to Tara. <laughs> amazing chilli for dinner. Ooh. I literally haven't had chilli for so long. I'm excited. Can I do a taste test? That's good chili. 
Oh my god, this is so nice. Mmm. Why? Was it? What, can I say it tastes nice? Yeah, because you just eat and not used to bland food. I'm actually impressed. That's like the biggest chili portion I've had for ages. Yeah. Dessert. Greek yogurt again with some meringue. It looks like meringue. Yeah, that's what I always <laughs> that's say. That's what you say all the meringue. time. <laughs> Mum's cutting up some Tesco's finest strawberries. <sighs> Tesco's finest for some fine gals. <sighs> we only yeah. get them because they're on special. <laughs> <laughs> Love Greek yogurt. Oh my gosh. Yum. Mum's and mine. You excited, Mum? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Eaten mess, but Greek yogurt style. Yeah. I've never had this before. No, I've never had a meringue. I know you normally say that, but I literally <laughs> have never had this before. No. <laughs> but when we had Greek yogurt with strawberries, it was divine. So. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to scratch myself. <laughs> Dessert time. Meringue <laughs> with Greek yogurt and strawberries. It looks beautiful. How do you do it, Mum? Just stab it in the middle. <laughs> oh my that's gosh, that's so nice. Oh. Wow, it's so sweet. You're going mm. strawberry. Mm. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Isn't that so mm. nice? Mm. Wow. Mm, I really like the meringue. Just the yogurt goes nicely with the meringue, don't you think? Mmm. It's kind of creamy, but um oh crap. <laughs> creamy but not sickly. Yeah. This is summery. What would you give it, Mum? I give it ten out of ten. Same. Oh my okay. god. This is mmm. Divine. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Divine. Right. Amazing. Right. Quite often, late at night, I've just been having cereal or an ice cream. I haven't really. It's easy to like go through phases and then. Once you've challenged having toast or a bagel for snacks, you kind of maybe you stop having them so much for a night snack. And I used to have bagels for night snack and toast for night snack quite a lot. And I haven't for a while. I love seedy bread, but I've only ever had scrambled egg with seedy bread. I've, I've not had anything else. And mum absolutely loves peanut butter on seedy bread, seedy toast. And I said to mum, oh, I don't know what to have for a night snack. And mum said, oh, you should have my favourite at the moment, seedy bread with peanut butter. I haven't had peanut butter for months, literally. It's been months, I swear. So I'm going to have some crunchy maple peanut butter needs stirring look oh honestly i can't believe i haven't had peanut butter for so long i don't know why i think it's because it's a bit of a fear and i challenged it and i had it on bagels and toast and then i think you kind of once you challenge things you need to keep challenging challenge repeat it doesn't mean just because you've done it that that's okay and that's it. So yeah, also I always think, oh, I love Nutella and Biscoff so much, so I never really have anything else. But it's good to have a variety. A lot of people have commented saying that I am, I'm not being realistic and they say that I don't struggle or I'm not being truthful because recovery 
isn't supposed to be fun and I think it is supposed to be fun and you should make it fun and it should be fun finding yourself again and you should have fun whilst challenging yourself but by no means do I find it easy I don't think I should have toast now and I'm kind of freaking out about the peanut butter because I haven't had it for such a long time and I just I feel like I've eaten quite a lot today I'm not actually really that hungry but then I do want food and some it is a mental battle I do want to eat but then I've got my head saying I've eaten a lot today I've, I've actually eaten far too much I've already had seedy bread shouldn't have it again and I had a different dessert I've never had before it I do find it hard but I think that you have to embrace it and once you do something once it gets easier because nothing bad happens but just because you find it hard doesn't mean you shouldn't do it so what am I doing? I'm having peanut butter for a snack and a chocolate bar even though I'm really actually quite tired and I could probably quite easily just go to bed now because I do feel satisfied from my dessert but I know that wouldn't be properly recovering because I also do want something else and also just because I don't know what I want doesn't mean I shouldn't have anything quite often I get annoyed with myself because I don't know what I should have and I want a lot of things or you just you have have what you want and if you want something else have it also quite often I think oh I shouldn't have this I'm not even hungry and I have something and then I think wow actually I was hungry and I have something else but if I just listened to my head or what I thought was me and didn't have anything no it's just silly also I find that when you skip snacks or you don't eat as much one day the next day you I actually find it harder or if I don't have a big enough breakfast or I wake up late and miss a snack I find it harder to rationalize allowing myself to have a really big lunch or whatever I want I start finding myself thinking silly again just keep going keep challenging peanut butter time baby beautiful I think I've already fallen in love with peanut butter again don't know why I haven't had it for so long smooth on here and it's so runny Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to have smooth on one half and maple on the other. Yeah, good idea, Rosalie. Snack time. Crunchy maple and smooth. And an amazing milky bar. He's snorkeling. That's so cute. Cue the dreamy music. Oh, do I look at my airpods? Oh, so stylish. On which toast will be nicer? Huh? Got to eat the snacks to look like a snack. Oh my god. Peanut butter on seedy toast. It's absolutely amazing. Time. That's good. 
I love my chocolate. It means start having chocolate more. Obviously, white chocolate is amazing. Obviously, CD bread is amazing. But peanut butter on CD bread is incredible. Mum's right. Mum's been going through a peanut butter CD bread phase. And wow, I'm so glad that she suggested this for a snack because it's incredible. Oh my god. I think I prefer, I'm not sure which one I prefer. I'm glad I had one of each. I think. I prefer a crunchy maple peanut butter. I'll have to have them both again to decide. Because the smooth is really nice as well because it's savoury. Hmm, I don't want to choose. All I know is that was so good. Wow. I know I said have toast and the milky bar and I was planning on that being my last thing but then I thought oh my gosh just all day I couldn't get over how good the cereal with seeds was I've just been thinking about it all day and I was like oh, I can't wait to have it again for breakfast tomorrow and I was kind of freaking out about the peanut butter on toast and thinking it was too much but it just goes to show that it isn't too much and actually having that made me realise that I was really hungry and that yeah I can eat something else so I'm going to have this also I really want to try peanut butter in a sauce with like pasta or just noodles or like, like satay sauce people mix it with soy sauce or something that sounds good I'm gonna have more peanut butter but yeah, it's weird because before I had the peanut butter, I was thinking it was too much food and my eating disorder was kind of messing with my head a bit. But now, I've decided to not even wait until the morning to have some more cereal. Having the same thing again, going against my eating disorder. I really find that listening to yourself and just allowing yourself to eat what you want it's just so great and if you want things a lot more than once in a day even more than like five times in a day just have it whatever you want however much you want whatever you want i think you go through phases when you find something you love you want to have it quite a lot or things that used to be a fear and now they're not this is so, so good oh my gosh it's just incredible how much the seeds make it seeds just wow amazing I'm gonna have that for breakfast as well tomorrow <laughs> yum it's been such a good day